officially get started. We have tons and tons of st uh, stuff to cover. Uh, thank you guys for coming to the event last week. I thought that it was the most fun that we've had for a year in review meeting. We look back at our meeting slides from two years ago, and it was a good meeting. We had a lot of fun with you guys, but I love to see the evolution. Once again, I want to thank Brian. I want to thank Molly for all their hard work behind the scenes and making sure that event came together. Molly has leaned into this creative side of herself that she's doing a lot of our marketing. The, all the, the slides were created by her. And so Molly, huge shout out to you. Brian, huge shout out to you. Thank you guys for putting this into uh, effect and making sure it was a dope event. So you guys, Karina is not feeling well today. She will not be on the call, but I wanted to turn it over to you guys before we get the ball rolling. Does anybody have a guest on the line or is anybody here for the very first time that they'd like to introduce their guests or they would like to say hello? Eric King, let's go to you, big dog. Yeah, well, I want to introduce you guys to my guy, Ryan Hope. He is the little brother of a dear friend of mine who was actually my first client that I ever sold a house to. Um, so his name is Ryan. Um, he just got his license, uh, just passed his test, um, and he's looking uh, for a good team or brokerage to join. And so obviously, naturally, I told him to join here today. So Ryan, you want to introduce yourself? Hello, everyone. Can you everyone Hello. hear me? We can. Yeah. I'm clear. Perfect. Yeah, I'm Perfect. Okay. So yeah, as he already said, I just recently got my license, been looking around for a brokerage. He told me all about you guys and you guys seem great. Um, I'm just here to see what you guys do, what's your vibe, and I'm excited to be here. Love it. I love it. If there's something that we always talk about that that encapsulates who we are as a company is vibe, energy, culture. So hopefully you get a good glimpse of that and what that looks like. So thanks for being here and congratulate passing congratulations on passing your exam. Any Thank other you. guests on the line? Anybody else has somebody here or first timer that they would like to introduce? Brian, I think we have uh, Stella Stella Hong in the open office. It's the first time in our team meeting to just join the team. Stella, I love Stella. <laughs> Love it. I love it. Stella's already on it. She's already on her fast pass. She is committed to getting that thing um, out of the way for the next 30 days. So Stella, welcome. Nice to have you. Want to say anything or are you good? Okay. All, right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, let's go ahead and get rolling. Like I said, we have two weeks worth of escrows um, to go through. So let me just get into my slides really quick. I'm going to pull this up. And you guys absolutely crushed the game over the past two weeks. So as always, I wanna make sure to go into our community contributions. We can see tons of things on the calendar. Obviously we're doing some events in Sacramento today, but I wanted to turn it to you guys and see what's going on in the community. What do you have coming up? What's on the calendar? Something you wanna talk about and plug today. So I wanna turn it over to you guys. Anybody wanna talk about a community event that they're hosting or they are going to in this coming week? Anybody? Vice, three times. Go Sacramento. Oh no, sorry, go Oakland. Yo, what's up? Yo, um, we have our YPN meeting coming up this Thursday for event in Fremont at Doss Brew. So if you guys are in the area, come through. We're gonna have some food. There's taco trucks. We're gonna give out some beers and just meet the president of Bay East. So it's gonna be a good time. Come support. Perfect. I love it. I love it. Steffi, since you're there in the office, I've been seeing your videos. You want to tell us about Mimosas and Millennials? Let's hear about it. Okay, sure. Hi, everyone. We're uh, throwing an event, a uh, first time homebuyer seminar called Mimosas and Millennials. It's going to take place on March 11 from 10.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. here at Oakland headquarters. And what is this event all about? So, so the people can help, obviously, build the excitement about this. Yeah, so right now, I guess we're targeting uh, millennials, thinking that's like typically the biggest group of home buyers right now. Uh, and we just want to kind of um, disclose tips and tricks on how to become a homeowner in this Bay Area and also a uh, first time home buyers program. Beautiful. And how many of you are partnering on this amazing upcoming event? Right now, we have six, six of us. Nice. I love it. I love it. So, um, you guys, th this is, I, I love the marketing for this. I love the excitement around it. I think this is a really cool idea. So I'm stoked for you guys. Love that you guys all band together to put together this really cool event. And so awesome job, you guys. Anybody else have an event that's coming up, community contributions that they want to talk about? And look at Omid's line on his beard. Damn, bro. Look, look to the side one more time. Jeez, bro. Look at that. Anybody else have an event that they want to talk about? Well, once, 
going twice. Uh, there is an event in the Oakland office tomorrow, uh, 2023 rate and housing forecast by Synergy Lending One. Uh, Kenny mentioned there'll be some good gem shops over there, so come on in. They'll be bringing uh, lunch. Uh, starts at 11. Beautiful, beautiful. Hi, Kyrie. We see you. We see you. Everyone wave to Kyrie because she's the star of the moment right now. Hi, Hi. baby. Hey. <laughs> All right, guys, hey, if you're in the Sacramento area today, at 12 o'clock, we have a, um, a local lender coming in to give us an update on the market, talk to us about getting leads from your past clients, about buildings, a bunch of other things, plus he's uh, bringing tacos. And then after that, at 3 o'clock, we're doing live prospecting in the office. We're going to gamify it. It's going to be bingo themed, so we're going to have some fun. So if you're going to be in the Sacramento area today, make sure to stop by the office, and let's get right into the slides for the last two weeks. All right, guys, like I said, you guys have been busy for the last two weeks, and so let's go with the first category. Will Dangler got in contract for um, on an Op City deal, Christina Pineda for 345,000. Joseph Chen and Adrian Relisa got in the contract for 293,000. So congratulations to you guys. Adrian wasn't able to make the year in review meeting. I'm gonna see if she's here, she's not. Let's see if Christina is here, let's not. Joseph, is, if he's here, he's on vacation. Joseph, actually, are you back from Hawaii? All right, cool. We will move on. Congratulations to everybody in that category. Um, so Melissa and Danielle got in the contract for $299. Lisa got in the contract for $350. And Brittany Wade got in the contract for $378. Now, Melissa, I know you're here. Your camera's on. would love to hear from you. What was your strategy? What worked? And what are you seeing in the market right now from your vantage point? Talk to us about this deal. Um, this was our double end. So we had went into contract with our seller and she, we fell out of contract with them because their property, it was contingent on the sale of their property and their property fell out. So this was our backup buyer and he, so we were able to double end this one. Um, our strategy, we met him at an open house and he was in there by himself. He said he knew an agent, but he was like, well, I might as well just go with you since you know the property. And so I was like, fantastic, let's do it. <laughs> and so <laughs> um, things are going smooth. He's he's a new buyer. So it, I'm teaching him a lot about the process um, and just that's how he came about. Love it. I love it. You guys, in regards to open houses, do me a favor. Over the last week, can you put your open house traffic in the chat down below? Just want to kind of get a, a quick gauge while everyone's here. Uh, tell me how many people have been coming through your open houses. Please put that in the chat below. Congratulations to you, Melissa, and congratulations to Danielle. Let's go to the next category. Um, next up is Anna Pacheco. She got in the contract for 410. Lissette got in the contract for 430. Michael Spivey, Mr. Units, 430. And then Frida. My concert buddy, I ran into her and her husband last night at the concert. She got in a contract for four thirty nine. So congratulations to everybody that made it in that category. And let me see if Lisette is on. Lisette, love for you to take the mic. Tell us about this client, what worked, what was your strategy, and tell us what you're seeing in the market from your vantage point. Let's hear from you. Yes, good morning, team. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> um, so... This one, blessings upon blessings upon blessings. So in a nutshell, we went live um, within a week's time, literally seven days, we went into contracts. I received a total of eight offers, three before the open house, all of them above asking. Um, before my open house on Saturday and Sunday last weekend, because we're almost getting ready to close now, but I got a total of 156 people in two days come through that open house, you guys. It was insane. And a total of 44 private showings outside of the 156 people that came to the open houses. Wow. Incredible. Right. Incredible. Well, congratulations to you on this deal and congratulations to you on getting so many more lead opportunities as well. Thank you. Thank you. Love it. Love it. Listen, love how you're showing up. Love the videos. I love the videos in Spanish. I have no idea what you're saying, but it sounds <laughs> like the cadence is really, really good. So uh, great job to you and, and way to show up in a big way. Thank you. to everyone that made it on the board in that category. Let's go next to this next category. Cortez got in the contract in Op City. And then Moss and Vanessa got in the contract on an Ojo for 455. 
Vanessa, I saw your face, would love for you to talk about this deal. What was the strategy? What worked for you? And we have to fix those um, Instagram handles down below because that's still from the other one, but we'll make sure to do that. Vanessa, talk to us about strategy. What work? What are you seeing in the market? And what was your strategy? Good morning, guys. Um, so this one was our listing in Fresno that went pending in about 10 days. So the strategy was we knew what the um, the sellers wanted 450. We knew Compton area was right at 450. So we listed it a little bit higher um, because we understood that, you know, people are just going to come in a little bit under. Um, and literally that's what we did. And we ended up with 455. So not at what we listed it for, but um, above what the sellers wanted. Beautiful, beautiful. And what type of traffic did you see in Fresno? You know what? Moss was a real one. He held it down. He did two weeks, no, only two days of open house the first week. And it was about 10 groups for two, the both Saturday and Sunday. Wow. Wow. I love it. I love it. Well, congratulations and congratulations. You don't have to drive out to Fresno anymore. I know that's a haul, but congratulations. <laughs> that's a goal. That was the goal. Get it done. in and out. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Congrats to you and Moss. Let's continue cruising on you guys. Next category. So Aaliyah and Hector got in a contract for 470 and Ina got in a contract for 500. Now, Aaliyah, I know that you're here, you're sick, you're not feeling well. So I will let you off the hook on this one. I would love to hear from Ina. And Ina, shout out to you. You um, have showed up in our environment in a huge way. You actually spoke on a panel a couple of weeks ago with Otis. Um, and you did a really, really good job on that panel for your first time public speaking in front of that, you know, size of a group. So uh, congratulations on that. But tell us about this deal. My deal? Um, yeah. <laughs> My deal is uh, the one in Sassoon, and we are, let me think, what, how did I get these guys? Oh, they accompanied my Redfin buyer as a friend on a tour and then wanted to buy a house. So we're actually closing on this one way before we're going to actually help that Redfin deal. So that's exciting. Oh, I love this. I love this. Let me ask you a question. You know, you and Ilona have really good momentum right now. Is there one thing a uh, key to your your success right now that's really really working for you that you can pass on to the rest of the team 100 percent is accountability with each other with the group these team meetings help so much and then sisu tracking 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 so just the accountability in itself doing nothing else to change my business but tracking it and having somebody else that's kind of like watching what i'm doing has uh really changed things so walk us through the numbers. Since you joined our team, how much business have you closed and how much is pending right now? Oh, gosh. Since I joined the team, I, I want to say this is my sixth. So we've got, four, we've got four closing. I've got four closing in the next month. That should be probably around $4 million in volume, I think. Um, we, I joined the team in October. I had three closings in December, one in November, one in October. I, I can't remember. I can look in my CSU, but I can't remember off the top of my head. I love it. I, I think we get the point though. Um, and you guys listen, CSU, we're not going to go over that. We're not going to belabor it, but just track your activities, find somebody in our environment that wants to work with you and help to hold you accountable. And you guys work in a buddy system. It, it pays off. And so great, great job to you. You Thank guys, you. use the tools that are provided for you. You guys don't have to pay anything for CSU. Use that tool to help keep you on pace. And that way you know exactly what you're doing and what you're not doing in your business. So congrats to you and congrats to you, Luna. Let's continue cruising on. All right, so Otis and Melissa got on the board. Am I seeing this correctly? You guys put up three deals in the last two weeks, 295, 455, and 460. And then Joseph Chan and Ronnie Escalante, they put up two deals through Op City. But Otis, my man, I would love to hear from this. Three deals. That means Melissa was on four contracts in the past two weeks. Seven. Seven. I, 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 I seven is gross. Oh. Oh, girl's on fire. She, Woo! Uh, Otis. I only really came today because I wanted the team. I got to do it like my boy Jay did it last week for Steffi. My girl had one deal before we started getting into business. And we had like about 
10, 12 clients and we were working through and we got our two in, but she's just been fucked. Like every day I go to the office, she's got something coming in the pipeline or she's writing a contract. Um, so I just want every new agent and every agent that is in, in uh, finished with graduation to look at her story. This Melissa makes me be a better person and a better realtor. I don't think that I would be having this success because if you guys know that uh, I had I had some a lot of personal shit going on that really just drug me all the way down. If it wasn't for her, um, I don't know where I would be and we make a good partnership and we're, we're going to try our best this year to be uh, Will Will and, uh, and Roxy, but uh, it's going to be one heart of a battle. But um. Um, I want I want her to take the lead on this because Melissa means everything to me. She's the perfect partner and this is just us getting started. Melissa, you know what, Otis, first off, I love the words and I love the kindness and I love, you know, the way that you edify her. But Melissa, there was a time where there was a lull in your business, right? And we're being real with each other. There was a lull in your business, but you stayed in the fight. You and Otis started working together, holding each other accountable, and then opportunities started to come and to come and you've capitalized on them. So like, tell us how this has all come to fruition and how you kept your head in the game, even though it was uh, a struggle. You know, I went a long time. I sacrificed a lot. I I ended up having to get a nanny so that I could work full time in real estate. But to pay for this nanny, I have to work at night. So I'm working like constantly. So it's been a fight. It's been a struggle, but it's finally paying off. But really, it's just one lead in the seven escrows that I'm a part of right now, one lead in Sonoma turned into four. So it was like getting those listings in and learning the the keywords. So when somebody says, I have, I want to buy, what are you doing with your home now? Would you be willing to list it? And it's just getting those listings in because once you get that listing, then they need homes. Like if it's like for one of ours, it's a divorce. So the, the person came as a buyer, but she also needed to list. They were going through a divorce. So that's two more, two more contracts that we got. So it's just trying to feed off one, one lead can turn into so many and then just double ending and people so, call, people see your sign and then they start calling and are you, well, this one's not available, but do you want to see this one? I know this one is available getting in good with the other listing agents that are in your area. So. I love this. You got seven deals at one time. That's some people's year. And you know what? That's actually a, a great year based on industry averages. So Yeah. And we've I, had to go far. We have a listing in King City, which is three hours away. So we're in the trenches. We're definitely in the trenches, <laughs> but we will get to where we need to be. Here. I have to go back out there so we end up getting six grand over asking price and we uh listed and got in contract in five days yeah we didn't have to do our open house in king city you guys I, I just want you i want you to hear this like otis went almost a year without being in contract right like he was trying to grow in isolation and decided you know i need to be around some people and like found his stride found his voice melissa's found her stride found her and it may take a little bit of time but but seriously keep your head in the game keep fighting because you don't know how close you are sometimes so congratulations to you guys i love seeing this and um hats off to you thank you let's continue cruising on so next category um 551,750. omid got in a contract for 590 and then Kaleem and miles got into contract for 625 so Kaleem just closed on his first contract i remember this dude came to us 19 years old uh, took him over five times, I think, to pass his exam. And now this dude's got momentum too. So Kaleem, would love to hear from you, bro. What's working? What was the strategy and how you got your clients in the contract? Kaleem, if you can, please share. Um, I saw you here, I think. Kaleem, you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. There you are, big dog. What's up, man? Share with us. What's going on? Uh, you know what? It was, it was a client that I got from an open house in you know, it was her and her friend that were trying to buy two separate things and they were kind of, they kind of didn't know what they wanted to do, but they know they wanted to buy something. So, you know, I brought in Miles on the project and we worked with them, you know, helped them plan out what they wanted to do, their future, how they wanted to go about things. And, you know, she was, she was getting a little bit of buyer's fatigue just because of the market was, it was a little crazy for her and she didn't expect it to be what it was, but I told her to hang in there, stay positive. You know, everything happens for a reason. And we finally got her into a place. Not only 
did I not allow her to settle for just any property because she just wanted to get into something, but I got her in an area where she wanted to be at. So she's beyond happy for that. Man, I love it, bro. Congratulations on all your success. I know how hard you work for this and how hard you are working to really support your dream, man. So congratulations to you, brother. And congratulations Thank to Thank you. And congratulations, Omid. All right, let's continue. Thank you. I appreciate it. On. Uh, next category, Freddie and Juanita got in the contract twice, 675 and 710. And then George Martinez, George doing deals with everybody. I like seeing this. Got in contract with Angel for 679000 would love to see if I can get Juanita on the line right now. Juanita, are you on the line? You are not on the line, but George, I did see your smiling face on here. So George, walk us through your strategy, my man. What worked? And let's hear about this deal and what you're seeing in the market right now. Yeah, so this lead actually came in from Facebook. I actually met the, the client back in eighth grade um at a retreat and we kind of just kept in touch throughout the years she hit me up on Facebook and was like hey I see that you're um posting all these informational videos like I have some questions and then I just naturally answered her questions and she basically was like you know what I have eight friends that are agents I'm gonna go with you and she lives in American Canyon and I remember meeting Angel at the office a few times in passing and had a few conversations so I was like, shit, I don't know American Canyon or Solano County. So I reached out to Angel to help me because I was in San Diego at the time. And Angel's been such a great help. Um, we've only showed her two houses and we ended up getting into contract for the second one at list price. Uh, it was on the market 41 days. So right now we're actually in negotiations for asking them to give max 3% credits and repair the sewer lateral at the close of escrow. So if all goes well, our client will basically get her EMD back and basically not have to bring money to the closing table. So she will have gotten one hell of a deal if we get her the $20,000 in credits and the sewer lateral repaired. So, Man, I absolutely love this. Well, congratulations to you. Congratulations to Angel. And I love yeah. how you remember that relationship and said, you know, let me lean to somebody in that market. So great job to you, George. Let's continue Thank cruising you. on, you guys. Um, next category, uh, once again, Ina is on the board again for 733000 and then Lovely is on the board once again, 750000 So congratulations, ladies. Let me see if Lovely is on, and if not, we will just continue cruising on. All right, we're going to continue cruising on, but congratulations to both of you. Let's go to the next category. All right, so this is, uh, this is Million Dollar Plus Club. Um, now it's not on here and it should have been on here, but Steffi, and we'll, we'll come back to Steffi in a second. She got in her very first contract with Tom Lee. So congratulations to you, Steffi. Also, congratulations to Adrian Reliza and Danielle Martinez, over a million dollars, a million sixty-five thousand. So congratulations. But Steffi, I'd love to hear from you. You're right there. You're in Oakland. If we can take her off mute and let's just give her a giant round of applause. Yeah. She's looking for her ass hey, off. What? You apologize for Tom's headshot. <laughs> Why? That's his face. <laughs> I can't apologize for his face. What do you mean? We apologize. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Yeah, we need to scratch that. You look so like. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Oh, hi. Should I pull it up again so you guys can see it? No, he's. All right, Stephanie, <laughs> tell us about this. You've been working your ass off. You've had some challenges. We've all had some challenges, but you've kept your head in the game. Tell us about this deal. What worked? How you got them over the first? Oh, man. We started looking probably like November of last year. And I mean, yeah, he's just one of those clients that's like, oh, I want to buy, but don't really have that momentum himself. So I'm just like, let me set you up on a little scout. And then by the next week, we were touring. So, um, and then he took a break in December, and then we picked it up again this last month. No, this month. Yeah, this month. This month, and then we wrote twice, and then this one we got a couple of counters, and we were able to get into contract. So, yay! Right. So, so the moment that you got that your offer is accepted, email. Tell us how you felt. Who'd you call first? Tell us about that first deal. 
Oh, I was out here screaming. <laughs> I was so excited. Uh, it just means so much more to me as well because he's a friend and everyone in my circle is like, you know, knows about this transaction. So uh, it's just me, that, that double the pressure a little bit. Love it. Well, congratulations to you and Tom, congratulations to you. Any insight, anything you want to provide uh, additional to that? Any more? Do your due diligence. Your mentor? <laughs> Do your due diligence. And then shout out to our mentors. Thank you. <laughs> Beautiful. Peter Beautiful. and Louis. I love it. Congratulations, you guys. Um, you know, Steffi, first of many, and Tom, you've been uh, being consistent since you started. So great job to both of you guys. All right. So next up is Ancosi. I think Ancosi's in the room as well. Ancosi and Jen got in the contract for one point two five zero. So my man, the silent killer, the dude that is constantly, Seriously? He, he will out call everybody. That's what I love about Ancosi. He will just be head down, out call everybody. Ancosi, talk to us about this, bro. Yeah, man, uh, this was a tough one. Um, my buyers are currently in, currently in like hard markets. So Union City, Newark, Dublin, Pleasanton, really low inventory markets. Uh, we were getting beat out. Submitted about four offers on market. Um, and I kind of found this off market on Facebook groups in Dublin uh, and fit our, fit our clients' needs. We took a look at it the first time. They liked it. Second time, they liked it. We wrote on it. Um, but due to some issues, uh, they wanted to back out, but we went for another property on market, didn't work out. So they wanted to come back to it. And yeah, we, you know, wrote it up yesterday and uh, we got it ratified yesterday. Super stoked for them. Got it at a great price, really undervalued for where we're at in the market in Dublin. So super ecstatic for these guys. Yeah, I love it, man. And spoken so eloquently. Congratulations to you. Congratulations to Jen, man. And we see how hard you're working in the office constantly. So. Great job, you guys. All right, let's continue cruising on. Um, more million dollar categories. So Kevin Magna got in the contract twice, 675 and 1155, two flex deals. Andrew Lynn got in the contract for 1345. Danielle Martinez, once again, another million dollar plus deal, 1350. And then Sonny got in the contract for 1935. I don't know, is Sonny in the office with you guys right there? Is Sonny there in the office? No, no, no. He's too busy spending money. What's that? He's too busy spending that money from that two million dollar deal. Almost. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, congratulations, Sonny. Uh, I know you're not in the office, bro, but can you talk about this deal, man? One point nine three five. Congratulations to you. Talk to us about this deal, about this strategy. Um, I'm just gonna be quite honest, guys. This was a referral from another client I previously had. Just uh, got to keep busting out uh, those gifts, sending those people a follow up. I mean, if you have one client, they like what you did for them. They're going to refer to your friends. Fortunately for me, I had a lot of tech workers that I helped throughout the years. So a lot of their friends are going to be in tech and they just end up being in higher price points. It's all just luck. But I'm super grateful for you know having all the support from the team. I, 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 I truly don't believe in luck. I, I believe that you create it on your own, man, through hard work. But Sonny, how long have you been with the team, bro? Tell us how long you've been in real estate in general and, and then how long you've been on the team. Um, I'll be touching two years in uh, April this year. And, and what was the first brokerage that you ever joined? This, this was the first brokerage. I mean, from the okay. get-go, Team Fast was always there for me, helping me. And, you know, I just learned so much. And out of 360 agents at this amazing company, where did you rank last year? Um, according to the graph, I ranked 10th, but you know, that was a surprise to me. So, so, so first off, thanks for being humble, but 10th amongst this entire company and the dude is still under his third year in real estate. Let's give him a giant round of applause for everything that he's been able to accomplish in a very short amount of time. Great job to you, my man. Way to stay humble, way to work your ass off, and way to lean in to your sphere and uh, tap into those, those people. So congratulations to you, bro. Thank you. Thank you, guys. All right. Everyone, go ahead. Sorry. No, everyone else deserves a round of applause. Everyone did so well this, uh, this week. I mean, there's so many escrows. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, all right, guys. Let's take a quick snapshot of what you guys were able to create over the last two weeks. Like Sonny was just saying, you guys put up... 34 new escrows that equated to over $22 million of new real estate volume in just the past two weeks. This was the shortest lull or the shortest downturn in the market that I think that we've ever experienced. 
I think that fear lasted for maybe a week or two, but you guys showed no matter what, that you guys are champions and that you guys will make history no matter what the market is doing. So congratulations to you guys and way to outwork any challenges that we are facing in the market. Congratulations to you. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna go over to a special person and this person is our story of the week. And you guys see her, she's in the office. She is one of our guardians of the galaxy team ambassador. Right now, she has $2.4 million of volume that is pending right now. She participates in coaching three times a week. She's growth minded. She is a mother hustler. So Danielle, we want to just honor you, congratulate you and make you the fast story of the week. Anything you'd like to say to the team? Uh, wow. Okay. I was not expecting that. Thank you so much. Um, well, I wouldn't be here without the team. Like, like I said, like, whoa, hello. Oh, hello. Like I said, hello. Like I said last week, it's, um, I help out because to me, that's just what you do. You know, it, it's a give, give, take, take, right? Sometimes we need to give more. Sometimes we need to take more. And that's the balance between having a great team. I have to be there for them. They have to be there for me. Um, you know, this this beginning of this year, it's been a little challenging for me. You know, I've told you I have Hashimoto's. It's really hit me this year, but I've kind of just been leaving the house when I had to, and it worked out. You know, I'm still on top of my stuff. I haven't been going to the office as much. I'm going to get back into doing it, but I'm still just doing everything I possibly can when I can do it. And that's all I can ask of myself right now. And with a badass team behind me, what more could I ask for? I'm you lucky. I appreciate you saying that. And thanks for opening up to me and, and sharing with me, like for the people that might be experiencing a lull in their business, or maybe having some challenging times, if you could give them some advice of things that maybe work for you, what would that be? And what did that look like for you? Uh, you know, it's, it's persevere when, when you don't measure up to what you think you should be, it doesn't mean throw in the towel. Mm. And that means for everything whether you're trying to eat healthier, whether you're trying to work on family shit, whether it's, you know, trying to work on your business, just because you fuck up real quick or you didn't meet, measure up to what you should be, it doesn't mean, oh, fuck it now. I'm just gonna keep fucking up, fuck it. Get back in there again. You get thrown down, fucking get back in there again. You get two steps back, you gotta take another one forward, right? And it's cause if I don't, where else am I gonna be? I have to do something. I have to keep moving forward regardless, right? Mm -hmm. No one else is gonna do it for me. God, I, you I, know? Love it. I love it. And Danielle, for the people that don't know, how far, when you do come to the office, how far are you driving from? I live in Half Moon Bay. So <laughs> that's like San Mateo County, for those that don't know. I'm from San Mateo County. You know, that's where I'm born and raised. So, you know, that's just what I do. And since I started, I was going to the office four or five times a week. All of my open houses were Concord, Hayward, San Leandro, like nothing over here. I had a few, you know, with a few agents. But I'm always traveling far. I'm always driving to where I have to get to. So like I said, just this beginning of the year, I kind of backed up a little bit just to focus on my health, but I go where I need to go. I do what I need to do. I love it. I love it. Let's just give her a giant round of applause. What a touching story. Thank what a you. Story. Thank you so much. I think we could all connect to that. I remember my mentor telling me it's not how you act when you are at your highest moment, when things are rolling, when the sales are rolling, it's the true character is when you're, how you perform and how you act when you're sometimes at your lowest moments, right? And how you are still showing up in the world. So congratulations to, uh, to you, Danielle. We Thank are you. you as the fast story of the week. Thank you. Um, Kenny, want to turn over to you. Anything on this end, or are we good to move on from this? Um, has some delays on the fast, but we're going to be up there. they trying to paint the rooms. We'll be up, Patrick and I and Brian will be up there, I think, March 6th. In Sacramento. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So you guys uh, just go ahead. I was going to say, and one last thing as well. Um, we are very quickly approaching our next round of agent spotlight videos. So I'm going to actually be sending out a, a email in Slack today and you guys will have an opportunity to throw your name in the hat. Uh, there are some criteria. We're opening it up to uh, the broader field. So we're kind of going away from the heritage month sort of model. We're going more just everybody, but there are still restrictions. We are asking that you have some sales under your belt and things like that. So I'll outline all of those criteria uh, in the email, go ahead and throw your name in the hat and I will be drawing a lottery uh, for uh, who gets the spotlight videos. Love it. I love it. <clears throat>
Hey, Elias. Yes. Hi. Who's that? Uh, oh, hi, Molly. Um, one other thing, too, I just want to throw out there. Um, so I'm helping on some one-off, some agents with high note. If I get enough agents that DM me that want to um, have a working session on high note switching, creating banners, thought ideas in and around how to use high note, which you can use it for, um, I'll, I'll do a class. Um, maybe out here in Brentwood or I'll come to Oakland if needed. Um, but just hit me up sporadically. I'm gonna be dropping stuff in our team fast channel. So check that channel um, as I'm working through and creating some things. Um, I'll share them there for the rest of the team if you're interested. But if I get enough of a interest, we'll do a class, but it's working, which means you need to be prepared with your laptop sharing ideas, collaborating, um, and get it going. What we have right now for the team, I'm kind of just revamping some of the designs um, and creating some new templates for 2023. Um, but again, we can do another class and just kind of brainstorm and get you guys actively using it um, in other ways other than just buyer presentation or listing. So just putting that out there. By a show of hands, how many people feel that they need to step up their um, their high note game. Just give me a reaction on the screen below. So we've we've done the survey. There we go, Molly. <laughs> is, is Peter on the call? Peter? What's that? Is Peter on the call? Because uh, Peter did win. Yeah. Yeah, he won an award for like second something <clears throat> top user, Fair. best user. <laughs> Peter, Peter, what did you win? Hey. What did you do for second? Well, how'd you win second place for whole life awards? Oh, I got awards. Uh, I just entered. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I had chat GBT write like something for the entry. It, 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 they wanted like a convincing story of how High Note uh, okay. helped help their business. Um, and honestly, I use High Note now as my main website just because I feel like uh, most people's regular website is pretty generic. But high notes all about value. So there's listing presentations, buyer presentations in my YouTube. So immediately when they're going on, I'm already adding value. And then towards the bottom is where they can find me. Love it. I love it. Well, congrats to you, Peter. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this workshop. And uh, great uh, stuff. Elias, do we have a social media workshop next Friday? Yeah, I, you know what? We named it. We placeholded it. But we didn't. Uh, I don't think that we have announced it. Might as well do this. So did we? Did we decide on that name, Kenny? I know we were going back and forth on the names. Well, it's just going to be a workshop. It was just, yes. Next Friday, 11 to 2, right? The March 3rd? Yep. All right. We're going to, um, I think, I don't know the location. We're going to meet and break up into groups and start like auditing each other's social media so you can get transparent feedback on if your site's good or not. And we did it with a roundtable with my coach, Raquel. It was really eye opening. Uh, so that's going to be next Friday. And then this is a separate, not directly related to Team Fast, but Launch conference, uh, Roland, Brooks, and some guys are hosting, hosting a big conference. There's a VIP ticket. I'll drop the link in here. Uh, it has like 25, I think 20 something speakers, all really, really high caliber people. Um, the funny thing is like all these people that I, I follow online, they're killers. Um, they're just not as known in our area, but the, the lineup is amazing. There's like team fit agents is there, the broker of Quinox is there, just a ton of great agents. Um, and it's just a couple blocks away from our office. So I'll drop the link in there. And then one more thing regarding social media, I'll leave it at that. Yeah. So the um, launch, I'll put a link in and then Friday social media audit. Probably Oakland office, not Walnut Creek. Oakland, not Walnut Creek. I think we should do Walnut Creek. Oh, yeah. Walnut Creek. Yep. Yeah. And then then everyone could break out. They could do the little sessions of social investigation in the different colorful rooms. So um, we'll put that on the calendar. You guys will have some fun with it. And uh, I think it's going to be good. It's going to be like a a live survey from, from your audience and be like, all right, tell me what you see, what you don't see and uh, just be real with each other. So we'll put more details and we'll put that on the calendar, but looking forward to that next week. All right, guys, let's continue cruising on. Um, Dad's panel. Um, Kevin Bowie is hosting a panel and it's gonna be in our office. Uh, Brian Tran's gonna be there, Jason Pigal, Aaron, uh, Enrique Medellin, and um, Paul Talbot from Compass. This is a really, really good lineup. Like, even if you're not a dad, this is some really powerful hitters. So. If you have not RSVP'd for this event, make sure to do that. This is going to be a fire session that I'm looking forward to uh, attending myself. And then last but not least, you guys, he's there setting up right now. Oh, sorry, this is not last but not least. We have our live prospecting. So you guys, 
if you want to gamify this, if you want to have some fun with it, we are doing live prospecting. We've done like a bingo theme that has all kinds of different categories that break down your, your prospecting calls, text, emails, video campaigns. We're actually doing our first session today. I'm going to grab some white claws. We're going to have some fun. We're going to give out some prizes, but we're going to be doing this out uh, excuse me, throughout all the different offices. Here is the schedule, and this is actually reflected on the team calendar as well. So hopefully you can join us, come out, and the idea is let's just book a shit ton of appointments. That's really the premise of this, is getting out there, supporting one another, and booking a bunch of appointments. And then last but not least, finally, here we go. So today, our man is in the office right now, Ben. Ben, we see you setting up tacos and everything. We're doing a uh, Taco Tuesday knowledge drop today in Sacramento. So if you're in the area, you have the ability to come out, please join us. This is going to be fun. We're going to um, hear some high level overview about the industry and about how to really gain more leads right now. So looking forward to this. I'm actually heading there in just a few minutes, but that is everything on our end. Anything else that anybody wants to address, bring up or cover before we head out? Once, going twice. All right, cool, you guys. Uh, Liz, was that a last minute hand? Sorry. Yeah, no, I just wanted to give a shout out to Sophia because she let me in into the Sacramento office last week when I was in the area. So thank you. I love it. I love it. Awesome. Yeah, Liz. Nice meeting you, Liz. <laughs> All right, guys. Sophia so holds it down in the sack. One more time. Sophia holds it down in the sack. That's right. That's right. Um, All right, guys. So listen, have an amazing, amazing week. Congratulations on back-to-back -back stellar weeks. And I believe that this low in the market, we're done with it. We are back to a competitive environment, multiple offers, being very strategic with the way that we write our offers, being creative, building those relationships and getting back to our fundamentals. So I'm excited to, to be where we are in the marketplace right now. So if you guys need anything, you know where to find us. I'll be in Sacramento today and then I'll be obviously a group coaching for tomorrow and then in the Oakland office all day. So you guys, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Appreciate all of your efforts. We will see you soon. Peace.